Good morning. I just woke up. Um, kind of have a little headache, but I made some coffee for Tim and I. I'll show you guys some yummy coffee. And Tim's upstairs working, so I'm probably gonna hand deliver his coffee for him. I just got my hair done yesterday. I can't believe it. It's been forever. I'm so excited. I'm super blonde, which I love. Um, and I have my little boy here. Benson, you want to say hello? Say hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> There's Luna. Hi, Luna. There's Sunny. <laughs> There's our dogs. Yes, our couch is in disarray. This is an every morning ordeal because Benson <laughs> climbs up on all the cushions and it's just not even worth cleaning up. So <clears throat> that's why it looks like that. Is that funny? <laughs> yeah, you're silly. Anyways, so I just made some breakfast too. I did something really easy. I made a burrito from, like a frozen burrito from Costco. Because I woke up late today. I had a really bad headache last night. I slept and kept waking up. Actually, I didn't fall asleep till like 4.30 a.m. because of my headache and my, I had a stomach ache. Um, oh no. <laughs> it exploded. Like literally the entire contents of this came out. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll be eating it with a fork. Um, yeah, you can see the haul behind me. I just did a haul um, yesterday, but we're gonna do the taste test today. And we're also doing a little barbecue uh, in our community for Juneteenth. And it's just, you know, celebrating, commemorating, and just being a part of it. And I really want my son Benson to see some of this stuff and it's for family so I feel like it's um you know it'll be it'll be like mild and there might be a little protesting but it'll be all peaceful and uh something that I feel safe bringing my three and a half year old too so um that's our plans for today but I just wanted to start off the morning by showing you guys exactly what I'm doing what I'm eating what I'm drinking coffee oh and I didn't show you my creamer but I'm sure most of you guys have guessed by now. It is the coconut and almond creamer. So yeah, that is my breakfast. So a lot of you guys wanted to see my garden and I'm just gonna show you real quick. These are my grapevines. I have one here. Benson painted that. And then I have one here. Not quite tall enough to reach this first little um, vine crawling thing that we made. Now. This is interesting. Look at this. This is coming out of my garden. It's a pumpkin vine. As you guys can see, there's the pumpkin, one of them. It goes all the way back here and then all the way up here. I actually had to take it out because it was taking over. Now, fun fact about this little pumpkin vine here is that it is a volunteer. It, I didn't plant it, it just popped out. Um, so very interesting. Um, and I'll show you guys the rest of it. So this is my above ground little garden that I got last year. This is what it looks like. And then I have four tomato plants right here, doing very well. Got some Romas growing right here, and I believe these are the beef steak. Jalapeno plant that's doing really well too. You can see it's starting to flower, a couple of flowers. Um, this is my cilantro that just went absolutely crazy and um, bloomed right away. So I don't really have cilantro this year because it just went wild. And that just means next year I'm going to have a ton of cilantro in here, which is fine. Fine with me. And then this is my little compost that I throw all my scraps and stuff in. This is another tomato plant. I love tomatoes, so I plant it a lot. Here's my zucchini plant. I've already gotten five zucchinis out of this baby so many and they're delicious and they're huge lots of bees that's a good sign have one zucchini right here growing this will probably be like triple the size in three days have another one there and then my second zucchini plants down here this is my grower though this one not so much here's all my carrots they're growing this is cauliflower it hasn't really produced much and there are little bugs that I've caught on here so that's why there's a lot of holes I've tried to take them off but um, it's not doing that well because I don't think we have the right climate for this so 
yeah that's that's the only thing and then this guy right here is another volunteer I did not plant this um, I think it's a cucumber plant but I'm not positive I'm just guessing because this is what cucumber plant kind of looks like it hasn't had any um, fruit on it yet so I don't know if it's a cucumber or not but yes and this is the beginning of my pumpkin vine right here and it goes all the way out there all the way back um, oh yeah and I forgot my mint so a lot of you guys told me not to plant my mint in my garden so I just did it in this little separate bowl here and it's super happy loves it um, and I did, I plant all my stuff with some of the compost so it just grows really well. That's why you see like an avocado seed in here. But it's funny because my compost tends to um, sprout things like tomatoes. So there's some tomatoes here. I pulled out a bunch of sprouts because I don't want to take up too much nutrients from the actual mint plant. But um, I just pull them out and I feed them to my chickens because they love plants and they like to eat stuff. So that's what I did. Now I'm gonna take you guys for a little walk. Okay, here we have some bean sprouts. So I think I have some peas and some beans. And let me see if I can show you guys. Here is a, I believe this is a pea shoot, I think. It's a baby baby, but there's a couple on here. And then these are the bean sprouts. You can see, I don't know if you guys can tell, but right here there's one. And we made this um, out of a pallet. And then I just put some string across so that it can grow up and it vines. So yeah, that's my little makeshift bean sprouts. And it's just going on the shed here, which we do need to paint. I know it's like super rusted. Moving on. First of all, let me just share with you guys what Tim built me for Mother's Day. I didn't share it on social media because I just felt like this was a really personal, but I'm sharing it with you guys now because it's so beautiful. He made this, and those are all Benson's handprints. Comment down below what a great guy my husband is because he really is. Now over here, I planted some wildflowers and they're starting to bloom. They're really happy. And this patch, I don't even know what to do with it because it doesn't get too much sun. Um, and I do have some volunteer raspberry bushes back here that I planted last year and then we just pulled it out because it was dead. And now we have like a bunch of them just sprouting up. So that's nice. I like volunteers. But I was thinking about doing like succulents or something back here since it doesn't get much sun and succulents are pretty hardy. So yeah. That's pretty. And then along here, I planted some more flowers. You guys can tell a bunch of sunflowers there that are not quite ready to bloom. Oh yeah, and then let me share with you guys my little praying mantis babies. I probably had, I don't know, 50 praying mantis babies hatched. There's one in here. They like the sunflowers because they're tall. There's another one right there. Um, they're all over, but they're great. Here's another baby right there. Um, they like, I like praying mantises because they get rid of all the bugs in your garden. They're like so good for your garden. So I leave them and I don't, I mean, I don't kill any bugs anyway because I don't believe in that. But here we go. More some little bit flowers just planted throughout, sprouting up. More flowers. And then here starts off the next part of my garden. Um... I don't even remember what I planted, to be honest. So I think these are supposed to be bell peppers, but they don't really look like it. Um, I got some volunteer watermelon plants sprouting up from last year. Didn't plant those either. More watermelon here. These, I think these are cucumbers. If you guys know, let me know. But look at, those look like cucumbers, right? I don't even think I planted cucumbers. Did I, I don't know. I don't think I planted cucumbers. Um, this one is a zucchini getting another zucchini over here so yeah so much to go in my garden some more tomato plants this dirt needs a lot of work so these are all a little sad i've been trying to um basically fertilize and nourish the soil and i'll show you guys how i did that but yeah and then i have a little bit of carrots over here too 
Um, but you guys can see the difference in like color and stuff on this soil just because it just hasn't had enough love. Right. Moving on right here, this is my lime tree. My lemon tree, this was here when we originally bought the house and it needed a lot of love and it still does. Um, so I've been working hard on it, but it does have a lot of lemons. So little baby lemon buds everywhere and I picked a bunch off already. So it's still fruiting. It just, it looks sad. There's no leaves on it. Um, so hopefully we can get it up to being a happy plant again. Then my parents just bought me this avocado tree um, which is doing so well. It's super happy. Um, it takes like five years or something to fruit. So I'm just being patient with it and giving it lots of love, nourishing it and hoping it keeps growing. So this is my mandarin tree. It's not doing very well and well, it's doing better now, but this back area used to get super duper flooded. Um, when it would rain and it would just be filled with water so it was getting way too much water and it was we figured out that there was something wrong with the drainage so Tim had to dig a hole and like basically chop open the drain and help the drainage flow so now we're hoping that um, this little guy will come back but I do see a little mandarin bud on here so this is the first one I've like seen and then there's another baby right here too um, yes, there's a spider. I'm not scared of spiders, <laughs> but yeah, that's our mandarin. Hopefully it, it can make a comeback. And then over here are, these are two years old now. I bought these last year. This is an apple tree. It's a pink lady apple tree and it's getting its leaves back. It lost all its leaves during the winter. Now the leaves are coming back. This is a nectarine tree. Very, very happy right now. And then, and I do have a nectarine growing on here this little baby I don't know if you guys can see it there we go that little baby right there and then over here is a cherry tree and we got two cherries this year from it um, and that's fine because these are still super young and they still need lots of love and attention and so I'm just babying them taking care of them I even come out and sing to them <laughs> I'm not even kidding um, but yeah this is that's my garden Hey guys, I know it looks so different, but that's because we're shooting the um, taste test right now and I got all glammed up for that. Um, but yeah, I'm just getting ready. We're, we're all so hungry, it's lunchtime. Try to plan these taste tests around like a lunch so that way we're kind of like eating lunch instead of eating lunch and then a taste test. Um, sometimes it doesn't work out that way though, but I feel tired. I did not sleep well last night. And then I have my child who's wild. Where are you, wild child? See, this is what I'm saying. We fix the couch. And this boy, don't ruin the cushions, please. You're silly. <laughs> Tim's outside barbecuing and making the burger patty that we're gonna taste test. And then we're gonna do the taste test. Benson's going out for a nap. I'm gonna try to get some rest and then we're gonna get ready to go to the um, community event for Juneteenth, so that'll be fun. We're just gonna walk. It's kinda warm out, so I'm gonna go change into like a dress or something for the walk, cause it's gonna be hot. Um, but yeah, that's just a little update. And you guys, I'm sure, will see the taste test, so that's it. See you guys in a little bit. Pizza season Toscano cheese. And I'm just gonna try it straight up. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my God. You guys get to see the reality on the behind the scenes. Good thing I'm shooting this, what I do in a day. Yeah, just spilled tea all over us. That's not gonna be shown. My flip flops covered. Here's my lunch. I made taco salad which I've posted a video on before. It's literally my favorite salad and I make it massive, as big as my head, because it's so delicious. And it's lots of veggies and it's very filling. So, highly recommend, but I'm gonna sit down, eat my salad, and then we're gonna head out to the cookout. We're not eating at the cookout, we're just gonna go and show our support. And that's about it. Okay, family. Ready to head out? And here we go to 
support our fellow brothers and sisters. <laughs> I'm the most embarrassing in our family. <laughs> Tim's laughing. All right, it's a beautiful day. It's real windy out here. But we're going, showing our support. And then I don't even know what we're doing the rest of the day. Something. Hunt him. Yeah. Something. We're here. Say hi. vlog too much because there was tons of music there's a DJ there and uh, that's copyright music and I couldn't have it on the video so I couldn't really talk but you got the idea it was great I met a lot of people I talked to a lot of awesome women and actually my co-worker was there which was awesome so we just kind of sat together and talked a little bit and um, now we're gonna go head to the store Tim needs to buy something for his dad for Father's Day so we're gonna go do that and then go home so it's been a really great day so far productive and um great for benson and the memories that we just made so see you guys when we get back home back in my backyard and this is my happy place i just watered all my plants um took the dogs for a walk tim's actually picking up dinner at in and out tonight but yeah it was a really good day we had uh, we, we did a lot. I'm exhausted. I didn't sleep well last night. I think I told you guys that, but it's finally hitting me. It's like 7 o'clock, and I'm tired. <laughs> but all in all, fantastic day. Um, I hope you guys like this little video that I put together. I don't vlog too often, but it's been a fun day, and I'm glad I did it because this is one for the memory books. And if you guys like these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up so I know that you like them and you want to see more. And I'll totally shoot more of these videos. But anyways, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful evening like I am. And that's a wrap. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Aww.